things that I'm going to need for sanitizing my workspace for food service and food prep. I will need soap and water. So you can either have a spray bottle that you use with soap, dish soap and water. And you just put a little bit of that in there, mix it up, and then that I can use until it's gone. And therefore, I would also use my paper towels as, for my drying. The other option would be some people like to use washcloths, and you can use a washcloth, but you just need to remember you have to have a clean washcloth, and you can only use it for one meal or one snack only, and then you have to launder it. So that's the other choice. So I need to clean my surface first with soap and water, and then make sure that that's done and then I can follow it up with the sanitizer. So with the sanitizer that you choose, the most important things to remember is that you check to see if it's EPA registered. So on the bottle, it would have EPA registered with a number. So as long as it has that, then that is good. The other thing that's so important is actually to read the directions from the manufacturer and that you understand how to use the product. That you know for one thing it's approved for food contact surfaces. The other thing to always check is that does it, um, how much contact time does it need? And then also to see if it requires a water rinse afterwards if it would to be leaving a residue. So those are things you always wanna check. And if it is one that requires a water rinse, I would recommend not using it because that's another step that you would have to do. And then I need to allow the full contact time, whatever the bottle says. Many times it's usually around two minutes, but I'd like to check, like I said, whatever product you're using, it will tell you how long to leave contact time. The other thing important to remember is that not to spray if children are around, if you can try to have children engaged in another activity somewhere else away from the table, just so that they're not having any chance for them to breathe it or to touch it. And then the other thing to remember is that the surface should always be dry before you use it, meaning it has to be fully dry to air if it, you had time to air dry it, or please wipe it dry with a paper towel just so that no surface has the chemical left on it so that children could touch it or it could get on your food that you're serving.